Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I believe today's message is going to bless you. Today's message is called, When God Calls You. When God Calls You. Will you answer the call? Amen. And uh, I'm excited, but let's get into prayer real quick. So let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you for this morning, Lord God. We, we want to thank you for giving us another day of life, another opportunity, Lord God. I, I know there's a lot of people that didn't wake up this morning, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, and help us to make the best out of it, Lord God. Uh, 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 thank you for this opportunity. Uh, uh, open up our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our souls, God, to receive your message. That it will bless us, that it will change us, that it will rearrange us, Lord God. We thank you in your precious name. Amen. Amen. So, today we are talking about Abraham. Abraham. And we're going to Genesis 12. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. And we're going to get right into it. Genesis 12, verse 1. The Lord had said to Abraham, Go from country, go from your country, your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your, your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people on earth will be blessed through you. So Abraham went, that's verse 4, Abraham went as the Lord had told him. And Lot went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarai, or Sarah, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan and they arrived there. So, this is the call to Abraham, which was later Abraham. All right? So, in Genesis 12, God wakes up Abraham, he tells him, hey, I want you to go, okay? I want you to go. God calls him to do something, to leave his place, to leave his sorts of, uh, of comfort, to leave his household, to leave his parents, to leave his family, to leave that, that secure place that he calls home into a place of the unknown. He didn't know where he was going. He just knew that God had called him to go. Now, Abraham was 70, what did it say here? 75 years old. 75 years old. He wasn't a spring chicken. He wasn't a young guy to say, okay. So, God calls him, and the very next thing that, that Abraham does is he goes. Now, to me, that is amazing. Because he didn't argue with God. He didn't battle with God. He didn't wrestle with God. He didn't, he, he didn't make excuses. He, 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 he didn't make, uh, 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 he didn't whine about it. He didn't cry out about it. He just did it. God called him to do something. And Abraham does it. Now, he could have said, well, you know what? There, there's no... Uh, uh, the place where we're going, it's probably far. Uh, uh, there, there's no airfare right now. There's not a taxi I can take. Right? There's no Uber, Uber pool. No, he, he didn't make excuses. They went. He took his wife. He took his nephew. And they went. That's amazing. That is the call. He simply obeys God. Now understand that, the, uh, that's big faith, that's obedience. He obeyed God. God told him to do something, the next step he does, he obeys. He doesn't argue with them, he obeys it. And he does it. Now you have to understand something about obedience. Obedience is big faith. See, Abraham answers the call to obedience. To obey God, to fully trust and rely completely on God. God didn't tell him every specific plan. 
He tells him to do one thing, and Abraham obeys that. He didn't know how it was going to turn out. All he knew was the promise of God, what God had promised him, and he was obedient to that. Obedience goes a long way. See, it's one thing when God calls you, it's another thing when you answer the call to obedience. Abraham answered the call. See, your, your blessings are not relied on your works. They're relying on your obedience. Let me break it down. See, it doesn't matter how many things you're doing, what all you're doing. You can say, well, I'm working hard. I'm doing all this. I'm, I, 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 I go to 12-hour shifts. I do this. I do that. I do this. I do that. You can make all kinds of things that you do. But are you obedient to God's word? So when you ask God, why am I not being blessed? Look at what all that I'm doing. Well, is it what God called you to do? That's obedience. Abraham was obedient to the call. Abraham answered the call. Will you answer the call? See, when people call us, we can look at our phone and, and we can say, ah, you know what, reject. And it goes to voicemail. And when they text us, we can say, uh, you know what, I'll just, uh, I'll ignore it. Right? See, we can do that. At the same time, we can do that to God. When God calls us, we can be like, ah, uh, you know, I'll, I'll call you back later, God. I'm kind of busy. Right? Will you answer the call? See, I'm here to tell you today to answer the call. God has placed something in your heart. God has placed something in your life. God has called you to do something. God has chosen you for a purpose, a reason, in a time like this. And God is calling you to rise up and be the great person that God has called you to be. To do the great things that God has called you to do. To receive the blessings that God has called you to receive. If Abraham wouldn't have went, he wouldn't have received his blessings. But because he was obedient to God, he received his blessings. And not only did he receive his blessings, his family, his, 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 his kids, his, his uh, uh, grandchildren. Right? Right? His family line can receive the blessings because of the obedience of Abraham, because of the faith of Abraham. But faith has to come with obedience. See, don't miss out on your blessings. Have faith that what God has called you to do, God will provide for you to do it. Don't make excuses of, well, I don't know how to do it. Well, I don't know how to get there. Lord, I don't know where I'm going. You're, you're telling me to go, but I don't know where I'm going. This is the, the home that I've always been at. Abraham could have made a ton of excuses. Right? He could have said, oh, well, I don't, I don't really have a map, Lord. Nobody's invented a map yet. I don't know where I'm going. This is, this is my house. I've never been out there. But no, he's like, all right, God. Told his wife, hey, get up. Let's go. We're going. Now his wife, I mean, that's a, that's a powerful wife to just say, hey, all right. Amen. Don't miss out on your blessings. If God has called you to do something, God will equip you for it. Now notice here that Abraham, when God called him, Abraham didn't 
ask for advice. He didn't ask for anybody else's opinion. He didn't look around and say, okay, uh, God told me this. What do you think about it? God told me I need to go out of my comfort place. Uh, what do you think about it? No. He didn't. See, there's a lot of people missing out on the blessings right now because they're looking at everybody else. They're looking for everybody else's opinions. They're looking for, for Instagram, for Facebook, for Twitter, for every, everyone else's opinions instead of listening to just what God had told you to do. There's a lot of churches saying, okay, well, I guess I'll do that because that church is doing it. Hmm, okay, uh, 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 a lot of pastors are saying, okay, oh, uh, uh, God called me to do this, but what do you think, other pastor? How, what is your church doing? No, no, no. If God told you to do something, then you do what God is telling you to do. Because he's not telling him to do it. He's telling you to do it. Don't miss out on your blessings. Stop listening to what people say. Stop listening to the media. Stop listening to the so-called experts. And listen and be obedient to God. The source of your blessings. They're not the source of your blessings. God Almighty is the source of your blessings. Will you answer the call? God is saying today, will you answer the call? See, it doesn't matter how many likes I get on Facebook. It doesn't matter how many views I get on YouTube. It matters if you listen to the call of what God is trying to tell you to do. And what God has called you to do. You might be the next great evangelist. And God is calling you to do that. You might be the, the next biggest uh, Amazon. And God is calling you to do that. Will you answer the call? But don't forget who the source of your blessings is. It's God. Not man. God opens the doors for you to walk through. God uses man to open the door for you to go through. But it's not the man that blesses you. It is God. Will you answer the call? See, when God calls you, you need to have the faith of Abraham and say, yes, God, I will go. When God calls you, you need to have the faith of Abraham, the obedience of Abraham and say, yes, God, I'll do it. Okay, God, I will go. Yes, God, send me. Whatever you want me to do, Lord, here I am. Use me. A lot of people pray that prayer. God, use me. Let your will be done in my life. Let your will be done in my family's life. But when God finally calls you, you're hesitant about God's will. Don't stay back there. Go where the blessings are. Go where God is telling you to go. Be what God is telling you to be. Do what God is telling you to do. God will provide the rest. All you have to do is be obedient to God. Obedience. The Bible says that obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience, it doesn't come easy. Obedience doesn't come easy, all right? But when you do, there's big blessings ahead of you. Watch this. We're going to go to John 8, verse 39. And this is Jesus. This is the people saying, John 8, verse 39. Abraham is our father, they answered. And Jesus said this, If you were Abraham's children, Jesus said, then you would do what Abraham did. Now Jesus is talking to the multitudes, and the multitudes are, 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 are they want to kill Jesus right now. They hate Jesus for speaking the truth right now. And they say, Abraham's our father. We come from the line of Abraham. He is our father because Abraham was a father to many nations, right? But Jesus said, if you were 
Abraham's children, you would do what Abraham did. You would be obedient to God. You would trust God. You would put your faith, your whole source in God. You wouldn't listen to man. You would listen to God. God is calling you. God is calling you today. Will you answer the call? Don't worry if you're not qualified. Don't worry about what the people say. Don't worry about what the experts say. Oh, you can't do that. You don't have the education. You've never been to school. You've never been to college. You've never done that. How can you start a business? Right? Listen to God. Your source comes from God, not from man. Be obedient to God and receive the blessings of God. God is calling today. Will you answer the call? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. God has a specific thing and purpose for you. Whoever's listening to me right now, this is not a coincidence. God has a specific purpose for you. And you know what God has called you to do. He's asking today, will you be obedient to it? Don't worry about what anybody else says. Will you answer the call? I hope this message bless you. I hope this message encouraged you. Please, if it did, share it. Someone needs to hear it. God bless you. See you next Sunday.